I'm Brian Haupt, Pro Video Coalition. I am with Wooden Camera. Now, you can take a camera and you can go out and shoot wherever you want, but sometimes you need some accessories to make your life easy. Wooden Camera has been one of the companies I go to pretty regularly for anything I need to make my life easy and to put monitors where they need to go or quick release plates where they need to go, or if you have to shoot vertical, they have a solution for that. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, we have uh, some exciting new products that were originally intended for NAB, and I think this week is technically supposed to be NAB, so here we are. Uh, the first is our LPL adapter. Uh, we've had several versions of this before, but uh, this version now uh, adapts to Leica L mount, and we also have a version for the Canon R mount. Uh, so that's a, a new product for us. The Canon R has been big news. Canon finally came out with the full specs and this 8K raw capability inside. So having an LPL and Airy Signature Prime on to help resolve that 8K is, I mean, it sounds crazy that you do that with a, with a camera like that, but you can, and I think many people will at small sizes, really attractive for a lot of people. Yeah. Um... And then um, we have our, our new uh, Sackler Micro Touch and Go plate. So this is for the uh, FSB, let's see, 8, 10, 6, and uh, the Touch and Go plate S. I can't remember that yet. <laughs> but uh, it's the smallest quick release plate. Uh, we have the three different versions now for all the different Sackler and O'Connor heads. Uh, but you just unlock the lever halfway, push the safety uh, pin down, and then you can take your release plate out. So this would be uh, so for like for, a, for like a smaller cameras or what, how would you where would you typically use this? Yeah, it would be the the very smallest uh, camera packages on the the smallest um, Sackler heads. Uh, so the this originated because the BBC had asked for a, a quick release um, from Sackler, and so we we did them uh, a favor and, and designed it for them. Okay. And then you also uh, have a vertical plate, right? Because you have a big one. I do. Yeah, so uh, we had our original vertical camera plate, which was uh, heavy duty and designed for Alexas and full-size camera packages. Uh, but what we needed is a smaller version as well. And so this is 195 uh, and it allows you to attach a camera vertically. Uh, and to go with that, we've added a vertical uh, director's monitor cage adapter set to our product line. So it's these two little adapters here that attach to the top and bottom uh, of the cage and then allow you to reposition the handles toolessly. So you could actually go from horizontal to vertical uh, just with a twist of a thumb screw if you wanted to, but this is really convenient for uh, on-set monitoring when you're shooting vertical. And that, that L bracket is meant for smaller cameras like a like a Canon C500, I'm guessing? Yeah, anything from yeah C500 down. Uh, you probably could put a Alexa Mini or Red on there as well if you wanted to. Uh, but really, it's more about the the size and the distance from the, the bottom because if you had a you know a really big, wide camera package, you'd probably need our bigger bracket to get it further up off the base. How many, uh, I see a bunch of uh, tap screw holes through, through there. How many are there and what kind are they? Yeah, uh, it's rows of quarter 20 and 3 eighths. Uh, so you can attach any sort of dovetail or quick release plate to it if you wanted to. We have slots as well uh, for you know threading into non-standard um, hole patterns, things like that. Uh, so you can pretty much attach whatever you want to this, I think. Okay. The last and most exciting thing uh, for the our new product release is our quick release bridge plate. Uh, this looks very similar to our original bridge plates, but uh, we've added a two-stage locking lever. So you can go halfway and slide back and forth like a traditional bridge plate. Uh, but we've added a pin in the back to where you can release the lever further and then lift the bridge plate off vertically. This is really handy for if you have a, a heavy or um, off-balance camera package and it's hard to slide the bridge plate on the dovetail you can just unlock this and pull it off. Uh, it's also just so much easier. <laughs> yeah, but then you get to add security that um, you don't, it's not gonna fall off. 
if you're adjusting it, if someone's working too fast, mistakes can happen. Exactly. Yeah. Um, if you unlock this the whole way and really jam it, there's no way to get it off without um, sliding it to the end and pushing the release down, which you still can do. Uh, take it off like a traditional bridge plate if you wanted to. But and also being able to come off on top is, I think, a lot easier as an AC to come in and then pull off than it is to take an ungainly rig and slide it off. Yeah, anytime you have a huge lens or something that's off balance, it's just awful trying to get a bridge plate to move on a dovetail. <laughs> so is there anything else with that bridge? I see you holding it up. Um, so that's a 19 millimeter. Yeah, this is a 19 millimeter version. We have a 15 studio version as well. Uh, the other exciting thing about this is that we're, we're keeping the price the same as our standard bridge plate at 499. Uh, and I think we probably will keep our regular bridge plates just because uh, some people prefer to have the traditional locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to you know, make sure people have what they want. So how how is wooden camera, how are you guys handling this, uh, this new reality we're living in? I mean, this is a question I have. I'm just because I'm a news photographer, so I'm, I'm actually busier than, than I expected. But how are you guys handling everything? To be honest, the demand for uh, our products is quite a bit less just because the film industry is shut down. Uh, but we do still service some of the broadcast industry. And so we have um, been uh, keeping a team of about four people here uh, doing assembly, shipping, customer service, and repairs. Uh, and that um, is just so that we can take care of our customers, make sure they have what they need to, to create content during this um, unusual time. And uh, folks that can work from home are doing that, our engineers and marketing team and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a new, new time of reality. I hope we can see everyone again at, at an NAB soon or Cinegear or whatever, maybe in October, we'll meet in person again. And we'll talk about some more products or come out from under the hood of this, uh, this situation we're in. Thank you for taking a little bit of time with me today.